hello viewers in today's video i will show you how you can go back to stock firmware on huawei p20 pro as you can see right now phone is running lineage os and uh, i'm going to install stock firmware on this phone we was this process will lock the bootloader so if you don't have the code don't follow this process okay power up phone and hold volume down then insert cable and phone should enter fast boot mode in this mode we can check what was the version before installing custom rom so that we can install the same version which was uh, inside the phone before installing the lineage okay we need um, this otg connector and uh, one usb drive with at least 8 gb free space we need these two things and uh, on our computer we will run command fastboot space oen space get dash build dash number and uh, you will get the version which was inside before installing the lineage rom we need same firmware version the stock firmware with same build number we need to find and download on your computer i have already downloaded this version which is compatible with my phone make sure you download the same cust version in my case it is c782 okay you need to extract the file that uh, the firmware you have downloaded and uh, inside the dload folder you will find another zip file which is update underscore sd.zip you need to extract this one also and then from uh, xda you can download the huawei update extractor it's free so you can simply search in google Huawei update extractor and uh, it will take you to XD, XDA forum where you can download it for free once you have uh, downloaded the XDA uh, sorry the Huawei update extractor there you need to copy it in same folder where you have uh, the firmware you can uh, copy it anywhere but uh, I'm just saying I'm just asking you to copy in the same folder because it will be it will be easier for you to find it okay once uh, it is copied extract the Huawei update extractor go inside that folder and uh, open the tool okay the file is still extracting so we need to use this update.ap app basically we are going to extract uh, recovery ram disk the stock recovery ram disk and uh, uh, the system image uh, from the stock firmware we was this method only works on emui 9.1 and older versions don't try this method on emui 10 you can also unbrick your phone by following this method okay in Huawei update extractor we will select this uh, update.app but in settings you need to disable these to verify uh, headers in fact tick, remove tick from all verifications and then select update.app and uh, here we need to select uh, recovery ram disk and uh, also the system uh, image recovery ram disk and system image these two partitions we need to extract from the firmware we are going to flash these two partitions in uh, fast boot mode you can extract these partitions anywhere uh, uh, which is easily accessible i will prefer to extract these two files in same folder where we have our stock firmware so we so we can find all files in one folder you can also extract them on desktop it's easy to use them 
okay we will wait uh, for the system to extract these two partitions Okay, the files are extracted and uh, now we will proceed to the flashing process. Phone will still remain in fast boot mode and uh, you need to open the fast boot interface also known as uh, CMD interface. Okay, here we are going to use the command fastboot space flash space recovery underscore ram disk space and then simply drag and drop the stock recovery ram disk image on CMD screen and press enter. And next will be the stock uh, system image which is fastboot space flash space system space and then simply drag and drop <coughs> system dot image. And press enter now the system image is a little bit larger in size actually the biggest partition in this firmware so it is going to take a uh, few minutes so don't think that uh, it is stuck actually it will start flashing this the speed of flashing depends on the quality of your uh, USB port and quality of uh, USB cable a poor USB uh, cable will have slow transfer rate. I am using the original one, so I am getting the good speed. Okay, fastboot flashing has been completed. Now we need to connect USB OTG, the USB drive with the, our computer. And uh, here we need to copy two files. One is update.sd, update underscore sd dot zip. And second, second is the folder which the, with the name CLT underscore Huawei underscore eu what whatever cost version of your phone is so basically these two one folder and the update.zip we are going to copy inside the deload folder we need to make deload folder on uh, our usb i have already copied i just want to show that make deload folder and inside that folder put the update underscore dot zip and the cust file the cust folder you just simply copy that folder and uh, now our USB is ready to install the stock firmware. Now we are going to connect this USB drive using the OTG connector with phone. Simply disconnect phone and connect the USB drive. And now we are going to hold volume up, volume down and power buttons simultaneously. We must keep holding these three buttons even after reboot just keep holding until you see the update uh, screen on your phone and uh, when you see this screen actually it means that phone is going to boot into recovery mode because we have connected the USB it will boot to USB drive so you can see the installation has been started viewers if you don't have OTG drive you can also try to enter e-recovery mode and uh, there you can download latest version and recovery in most cases this also works so I have uh, I have shown you the easiest way now this process is going to take a little bit longer so we we have to wait until this uh, this uh, percentage reaches 100%
installation completed and now phone is going to reboot to normal mode viewers first boot can take a few minutes so don't worry about uh, the logo the phone hanging on this logo just uh, wait a little bit and phone should boot normally Viewers, if you don't have bootloader unlock code for your phone, don't follow this process. Otherwise, your bootloader will lock and uh, then you will have to unlock it again. So, if your phone is a uh, Kirin 710 device or a Kirin 890, then don't follow this process because those devices don't have bootloader code so you can see we have not seen any warning at the boot up time where it says your device has been unlocked even though it was unlocked that is why uh, that's how we install the custom rom but after installing stock firmware using uh, usb it got it got locked again so we are back with the stock firmware I hope you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future.